Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Alexander from Faded AU and in today's video, which is the first video on this channel, we're gonna be taking a look at some of these incredible shirts behind me that are dropping this weekend, the 8th of December. Now this is a brand new series we're gonna be doing right here on our YouTube channel and also over on our IGTV. Now, if you don't already follow us on Instagram, our handle is at Faded underscore AU and the whole point, the whole purpose of this video is pretty much just to showcase to you guys what shirts are gonna be hitting the site come Sunday. Now leading into any release, we get a ton of messages saying what shirts are dropping, what size is it, does it have a back print, the tag, the condition, all that kind of stuff and we completely understand those questions so we thought coming into every single release we'll post a video showcasing about 10 to 15 shirts both on our IG and also on our YouTube channel right here and that way you guys can have a better understanding of what's coming to the store come Sunday you know exactly what you want all right so this is also going to be the last drop of 2019 and before I get any further I just want to say a really really quick thank you to every single one of you the support over the last few months has been absolutely amazing you know I never honestly thought Fader would be where it is today and that's all thanks to you guys you know we launched the store I think it was end of January or start of February around that time and just since then you guys have been absolutely amazing always supporting us always had good feedback and like I said it wouldn't be what it is today without you guys so we wanted to finish off the year with some incredible shirts have an amazing drop and if you guys have been watching our Instagram stories and our recent posts you would have seen some of these tees and they're absolutely incredible so we're going to get into them now but also come 2020 we've got some really really big plans and some really big projects we've been working on for a while so I'm very excited to share that with you guys but without further ado let's get into it all right so to kick things off we have this incredible Metallica 1992 all over print shirt. Now, this is definitely one of the most hype shirts of this drop. As soon as we posted on our story, a ton of you guys reached out to us wanting to buy it. So I think come Sunday, this one's definitely gonna fly, but I can understand why. The graphic on this thing is absolutely amazing. As you can probably already tell, all the artwork is done by Pushhead. And you know me, I absolutely love his work. No matter the band, no matter whatever he does, it always turns out amazing. So to have a shirt with an all over print of his work is absolutely incredible. So as you can see, a crazy, crazy front graphic. If we flip it over to the back, really, really nice also. It's been worn literally to perfection. The fade on this thing is amazing. It's super soft. It does have a tiny bit of fraying and distressing around the collar here, but you know me, I think stuff like this really adds to the shirt and gives it character and makes it really unique and shows its age, which with a vintage shirt, you want to show that authenticity. So really good features there. And then it's also printed on the iconic Brockham tag. Now it's tagged a size large, fits as such. It's got a really nice kind of drapey fit. So when you wear it, it looks even better. Now, as I said, come Sunday, I think this one will definitely fly and definitely a grail piece for any Metallica fans. All right, so next up we have another Metallica all over print this time from 1991 and this shirt is absolutely incredible the front graphic and back graphic are both the same but the graphic in itself is really just a piece of artwork now I think any Metallica fan can really really appreciate this just because it has nods to the old albums obviously the black album and justice for all master of puppets and just all in all the colors on this thing are amazing the shirt itself has been worn to perfection it's nicely faded and that makes the colors kind of stand out just that little bit more also now it is missing the tag unfortunately but I do believe it was a Brockham size large it does fit exactly or pretty much exactly the same as the previous one we just looked at and yeah once again just really soft great graphic it's got a really nice fit when worn so definitely a grail for a ton of Metallica fans all right so next up we have our last all over print tee for this drop and it's this 1992 Pantera Cowboys from Hell shirt now the graphic on this thing is just wild there's something about a black and white graphic with hits of color around it that make it look 10 times better now like I said the colors are really sick the green and red really pop together and that contrast really really makes this shirt stand out now I absolutely love the fact that it's printed on the collar the print on the front and the back is exactly the same but the best thing that I find about this shirt is the fact that it's printed on the top heavy Australian made tag now it's tagged a size large but if you've ever owned a top heavy blank in the past you'll know exactly what I'm talking about these things really really get better with age the more you wear them the better they look they fade really really nicely they get super soft and buttery and just all in all a really sick shirt the only kind of flaw or signs of wear is the fact that there is a tiny tiny bit of fraying around this collar here but like I always say it just adds a lot of character and it shows the shirt's age and with a vintage tee you want that authentic look so definitely a grail for many people colors are amazing the print's really really sick and come Sunday whoever buys this like I said wear this shit out of it because it will get better all right so next up we have this 1999 Rob Zombie tee now I absolutely love this shirt once again the colors are really really sick very similar palette to the previous Pantera shirt with the greens and reds and that just really really work well together now the front graphic on this thing is absolutely amazing it's printed on an extra large winterland tag so you guys already know the quality the fit everything's gonna be perfect but what I think is best about this shirt is if we flip it over to the back we have the big bring out your dead hit now there's just something about text on the back of a shirt especially colorful and big like this that I absolutely love 
love. So I definitely think this is my favorite part of the shirt, but great back graphic, printed on a great blank, great fun graphic. You just can't really go wrong with this shirt. All right, so next up we have our only long sleeve of the drop and it's this 1998 Messiah Chaos V shirt. Now, I absolutely love this shirt. We had the short sleeve version probably five to six months ago and I absolutely loved it. But this long sleeve version has something that that didn't have and I'll show you in a second. But front graphics, absolutely amazing. The colors are really, really nice. And then if we flip it over to the back, we've got the screws with the big Chaos Fear. Now, like I said, we did have the short sleeve version, but this one does have something that the short sleeve didn't have. And I'm sure you can probably already guess by now, but it's this incredible long sleeve hit. Now, there's just something about long sleeve shirts with writing or images down the sleeve that I absolutely love. So the fact that it has that makes your shirt 10 times better. It's also printed on the Fruit of the Loom heavy cotton. Um, it's tagged a size extra large, and just all in all, it's a really, really sick shirt. You guys probably know, long sleeves are really, really hard to come by. So to find one with a great front and back graphic, and then also the sleeve hit, makes your shirt just a really, really sick piece, and one that everyone needs in their collection. All right, so next up, we have our first sports tier, The Drop, and it's this 1997 Chicago Bulls Championship shirt. Now, I absolutely love this shirt. It's printed on the old Made in USA starter blank. It's a size extra large. It does have that little starter hit on the sleeve, all single stitch, great fit and great feel. But the best part of this whole shirt is the graphic itself. The colors on this thing are just wild. It's a really, really simple graphic, yet really, really effective, and it stands out from a mile away. Now, it's kind of got that bootleg wrap kind of style to it, just with the text, the gradient, and the images. But just, yeah, all in all, a really, really sick shirt. And probably for me, one of the best bull shirts I think they ever made. All right, so next up, we have probably one of my favorite shirts to ever hit the site, as well as probably one of the most historic shirts to ever hit the site. The reason why I say that is because this is a 1991 Chicago Bulls Michael Jordan. Shirt. Now, if you know any kind of basketball history, you'll know that 1991 was the first championship that Michael Jordan ever won with the Chicago Bulls. And from then on, the rest is history. So a really, really sick piece. And definitely, like I said, a piece of history. It's printed on the even earlier starter blanks. It's a size extra large. And it has this incredible fiery kind of patch hit on the sleeve with the starter logo. Single stitch, really, really nice blank. It's really soft. The fade's absolutely amazing. But just the graphic on this thing is so, so sick. The colors on it, it's really, really simple. It's nothing too complex complex, but the red, white really, really contrast well with the blank and just all in all the really, really sick shirt. Now, whoever buys this, I think you're buying a piece of history and for me, definitely one of the best Chicago Bulls Michael Jordan shirts I've seen. All right, guys, so next up, we have this 1998 Oscar De La Hoya boxing tee, and this thing is just really, really nice. It's been faded to perfection, and because it has been worn so perfectly, the front graphic stands out even more. Now, it's printed on an old Royal Avalon 100% heavy cotton tag. It's a size extra large. It fits as such. It's got a really, really nice vintage fit and feel. Really great front graphic, really nice fade. It does have a tiny bit of distressing of holes down here, but they have been repaired. Nothing too crazy, but just all in all, a really, really sick piece. All right, guys, so next up, we have this Pantera European Tour shirt from 19. 1998 and this thing is just wild the graphic on it is absolutely crazy big pantera hit crazy crazy snake the colors are amazing and as soon as we posted a ton of you guys reached out to us so i definitely think come sunday this will be one of the first shirts to sell it's printed on the old bg european tour tag tagged as a size extra large it fits as such it's got a really really nice fit it's very very soft got a great feel and then also if we flip it over to the back we've got these really simple tour dates on there now as you can see there is a bit of a hole here but we do leave stuff like this just because it does come down to personal preference if you don't mind wearing holes, I'm one of those people, this won't bother you. But if you don't like the holes, it's really, really simple and it's a really easy fix. So it's there either way. If you like it, if you don't, you can fix it. It's very, very cheap and very easy to do. So great back and amazing fun. You can't really go wrong with this. All right, guys. So next up, we have this 1987 Metallica Damage Ink Tour shirt. Now, this is probably one of the most popular Metallica shirts, as well as one of the most counterfeited Metallica shirts. But like I said, this is an original from the 1987 tour. Now, artwork done by Pushhead, so you know it's amazing. Got the great graphic there and the nice big Metallica hit. It's printed on an old USA made 50-50 blank, size large, kind of fits in between a medium to large. So if you're either size, you get away with it. And then if we flip it over to the back, we've got a really nice simple graphic there also. Now it's really, really soft. It's got a great vintage fit and feel. And it's really hard to come by shirts from 1987 that look as good as this. This thing's been worn really, really nicely. It's been taken care of and just all in all a really, really sick shirt and a grail for many Metallica fans. All right, so next up, we have probably one of my favorite ever Guns N' Roses shirts ever made and it's this 1992 Use Your Illusion to a shirt. Now, I just think they absolutely killed the graphic on this thing. The colors are amazing. And then if we flip it over to the back, we've got the simple two at eight hits that just look really, really sick. We got Tokyo, Sydney, Melbourne, and Auckland. So if you're from any of those cities, I think it's amazing to own a shirt from a concert you didn't necessarily go to, but you can own a piece of history from that show. So really, really nice hit on the back here. Great front graphic. It's also printed on the Australian made Acme tag, which 
you guys know the quality on them is amazing. It is a tagged a size medium, which I find a lot of the medium Acme tags actually fit more so like a modern day large. So although a medium would definitely fit for someone, I think this is more so like a modern day large. So if you are the size, this will work for you, but just an incredible shirt, great colors, great front, great back, great blank, faded nicely, single stitch. You just really can't go wrong with them. All right, so next up and our last piece we're gonna be previewing in this video is this 1991 Megadeth T. Now, every Megadeth shirt we've had come through the store, I absolutely love the thought that went into making these shirts was honestly next level. We've got this nice Megadeth hit across the front, crazy graphic. But then if we flip it over to the back, we've got another graphic which in itself could be its own shirt. So I just think they really, really thought well about these designs and the back's amazing, front's amazing. And you guys can tell the wear on this thing is absolutely incredible. It really is one of a kind and makes this shirt really, really unique. It's got a really crazy fade to it. I'm not sure if it's a water or a sun fade, but it runs through the front and also through the back. We've got a little bit of distressing here around the neck. But like I said, I think this stuff all adds character to the shirt. It doesn't have the tag, which is unfortunate, but I do think it is kind of a modern day medium to large. So if you're a regular medium, you'll definitely fit this. If you're a kind of slimmer modern day large, you'll definitely fit this also. But just all in all, a really, really sick shirt. Single stitch, super soft, and definitely a collector's piece for any Megadeth fan. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope you did enjoy yourselves. We just went over 12 of the shirts that are gonna be hitting the website this weekend, the 8th of December at 5 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. So the drop in itself is a total of 21 shirts, which means there's still is a few others you guys haven't yet necessarily seen just like this insane clown posse one over my shoulder so make sure to follow us on instagram as we will post a few more stories and a few more profile pictures over the coming days leading into the release so you guys can get another sneak peek at those also guys please let us know in the comments below what you thought of today's video if you enjoyed it if you didn't like it if you had any um, ideas of things we should change whatever it might be we would love to hear from you guys and also let us know what shirts you guys are going to try cop come sunday i know the first few minutes is always crazy i wish we could have 10 or 20 of every shirt so you guys could all be happy with what you purchased but at the end of the day we only have one of each and it's always first come first serve so best of luck on sunday and also i just want to say once again thank you so so very much for all the support this year it's been absolutely incredible you guys have been amazing and i'm so so excited come 2020 We've got some really really big things planned some really big projects that i'm so excited to bring to you guys so thank you all so much i cannot wait to see you in the new year have a great holiday period enjoy your break have a great new year and i'll see you in 2020 see you guys